while Anna, you're you're looking at that, I'll just uh, kind of in a narrative way try to point out some few basic things from uh, Espo VLR experience and also things that I heard Shipra mention, especially Shipra story from you and Habitat, with, which I think was really powerful. We, we can go a few steps forward from that. No, uh, I was really lucky to thank you for asking. Yeah, forward, please. That, that would have been the nice video. So three basic themes, uh, uh, perhaps uh, that that um, looking at the background, and I'll share first uh, the insight how strategy, the Espo story, is bit of kind of paramount importance for us, and what's the core of our voluntary local review process as well. Then how we perceive the VLR process, and then at the end, perhaps just an idea, what is the uh, adventure or journey after the voluntary local process, and 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 there I want to point out tell something about the project we're doing with the six largest cities in Finland uh, as, as, a, as a kind of a combination about sense-making in cities. Uh, because the point is that the voluntary local review, you can, Anna, please go, go, let's see, one or two steps forward. We can stop there. The, the thing is that, oh, oh, oh that, that, that's fine, is that, um, the UN 2030 agenda, the declaration and the preamble, both are a great political uh, shared multilateral agreement. What is it that we should do and why? It doesn't, and, and there it says that it's, we think in ESPO, we, we see it as an, as an uh, kind of narrative, a story for humanity. In, in a way that we can, the people, planet, prosperity, peace, and partnership all, all can thrive. Uh, the thing is that it really doesn't share too much how, uh, how to achieve the, the SDGs, especially at the city level. So, so uh, there is a need for us to make sense. What do the, of course, the 17 goals are wonderful and they're easy to grasp, but then when you go to the 169 or so targets, you get into a little bit, uh, it's, it's already a, a small trouble there because they tend to be multilateral and uh, national state level. Then uh, when you get to the indicators, more than 200, I think, uh, uh, you might be in, in, a, in a tight spot. So there has to be a process where you take the targets and indicators and the goals and you make sense what do these mean for our city? And I think this is a very important process which Sipra Suri uh, uh, very nicely elaborated on. But to start that, you, you need kind of a present state analysis. You, you need to have an idea where you are now. And I think for this, the voluntary local review is a very good tool, excellent tool actually. And that's how we did the, the VLR. We took out our strategy, which we do together with political decision makers, with officials like me, uh, with our uh, citizens, with six-year-old kindergarten children, with uh, uh, university people, with company people. It's it's a community. It's a participatory process. And then we kind of that strategy tells us where we want to be and, and even a bit how. And we we took that strategy and we mapped that against the SDGs. And that that was the process essentially of of uh, our voluntary local review, which means that it was phenomena driven. Um, I've, I've said this before. We we didn't uh, aim to have a participatory process. For us, it was a bit fuzzy, you know, back in 2019. That what 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 is it? What are these voluntary local re reviews actually? And, and we got a lot of help from the national level. We got a lot of help from UN, UN DESA and UN Habitat, especially UN DESA at that point. Now UN Habitat, Shipra, Martin and others are so, so active in this. Uh, so we needed to figure out what does it mean? And for that, the, we started talking to people and ended up talking to a lot of people. So instead of having this very linear approach, uh, like taking... SDG 1, SDG 2, et cetera, we started to look at what is it that we do in our city and that resonates the strategy that we have done together. 
and how that does that relate to different SDGs? And, and so this was the voluntary local review for us, lasted for nine months, and I think more than three months of that we used just to understand what is it that we really need, what kind of voluntary local review process serves the needs of ESPO. And I, I think that this kind of bit selfish approach, you could say, is the right one, because when the voluntary local review process serves your needs, it will automatically serve uh, uh, the, the needs of, of this planet. And, and the, uh, there's a lot of, lot of things that I, I would wish to go through, but we are running out of time. So uh, uh, I'm looking forward to the discussion after Johan's presentation. And by the way, Johan, before you start, you know, there's something I have to tell you. Uh, very recently, only 22 years ago, I participated in the Porsche Renningen uh, oh. in, in, in first of May in Uppsala. One of the most wonderful memories I have from my uh, student times. So, so there you go. Anna, I'm terribly sorry I, I messed with this with the presentation thing, but uh, hopefully, you know, we are able to uh, have a great conversation in the end together. I have to respect time and, and you, uh, to, uh, Johan, I, I, I'll stop here and, and uh, give the floor to you.